Hey MMA fans, Cage Minds, your host Micah Frankel, here to bring you our fifth edition of the news, keep everyone up to date with the ongoings in the world of mixed martial arts. We'll start off with some news from Titan Fighting Championships, where Jorge Santiago has won two in a row, and after a career spent at middleweight, amassing a 25-10 and 10 record, but only 1-4 in, in the UFC, has decided to move down take his chances in the welterweight division and try to be the bigger, stronger guy. See how that feels. Jorge Santiago planning a move down to the welterweight division. Now we'll move on to some strike force news. Where Rafael Feijal Camacante tested positive for a banned substance after his fight with Mike Kyle. So subsequently turning that win into a no contest and also now Feijal will have to serve a year suspension. Too many fighters with stuff in their bodies that they shouldn't be. It's a sad sight to see. Now we'll move on to some Bellator news. Bellator has been busy with signing guys this week. They have signed Alexander Sarnofsky, and I'm so sorry if I messed up his name, who is 20-0, a student of Alexander Sarnofsky, who will be in the next lightweight tournament. Also this week being signed, after getting his subsequent releasal from Strike Force. Paul Daly has now joined the ranks of Bellator, and we can look forward to seeing him most likely in their next welterweight tournament. And then also, wrestling standout Sean Bunch has also signed with Bellator. He will compete in the Bantamweight division, and I believe late 2012, maybe early 2013, we'll see his mixed martial arts debut, but it will be for Bellator. Now we'll move on to some UFC news. This Friday, UFC on FX4, main event Ray Maynard and Clay Guida, but we'll see Guida a way we've never seen him before. Subsequently, from a complaint from the Maynard camp, Guida is having to braid his hair down. This is a weird situation. Maynard had to make a deal about it, had to come out and say, oh, it was someone else from his camp. He has no problem with the hair, but still, it's something weird that's happening. It's newsworthy. Guida's having to braid his hair down and we'll all miss that funky hair flying everywhere. Also news for this FX4 event. We were th thinking that the first fight of the car would be Ken Stone versus Francisco Rivera. Well, Francisco Rivera is now injured and Dustin Page will step in and look to pull a Chris Lieben trying to win two fights in three weeks. We all know that Page is coming off of a victory UFC on FX3 beating Jared Papazian by first round rear naked choke. We'll see if he can accomplish this feat of greater proportions because of having to bounce back after a fight so quickly. Let's see if he can keep that momentum rolling. Move on to some UFC 148 news. UFC 148 will feature six bouts on the pay-per-view. UFC trying to get a lot of buys. Also, Las Vegas and the UFC have International Fight Week. The Fan Expo and a lot of stuff going on in Vegas the first week of July going crazy for UFC 148, one of the biggest cards in a while, the rematch Silva vs. Sutton. Now we'll move on to some UFC 149 news. Antonio Minotaro Noguera was supposed to take on Chet Congo. Well now Noguera was not cleared by his doctor, there's an injury, and Sean the Savage Jordan will jump in to face Congo at UFC 149. More 149 news. Rolando Lalorme was looking for an opponent. Seems he has been found. And it will be Francisco Rivera will be healthy by 149. And he'll step in versus Lorme because of the whole Bobondo for Andy's deal. Now we'll move on to some UFC Nottingham news. Bunch of news for that event. UFC Nottingham main event announced now. Stefan Skyscraper Strew versus Steve Maosik, a heavyweight battle that will very much be entertaining. We also have to announce a lightweight battle. Paul Sass with all of his submissions taking on handsome Matt Wyman. And in a welterweight matchup, Dwayne Bang Ludwig will take on beautiful Chi Mills. All happening UFC Nottingham. Now we'll move on to some UFC 150 news. UFC 150, another event hit by injuries, originally announced. Louise Kane versus Yusin Okami. Kane will be making his middleweight debut. That will not happen now. Louise Kane will be replaced by Husamar Pohares. So we have Yusin Okami versus Husamar Pohares. And then we're going to go to a new fight that was added to this UFC 150 card. Where it will be a featherweight matchup between Max Holloway and Ultimate Fighter alumni, Justin Lawrence. 
And in UFC 151 news announced for that event will be a bantamweight matchup between Takeo Mizuzaki and Jeff Hoagland. This has been Cage Minds, keeping everyone up to date with the news in the mixed martial arts world. You should also check out isno-net.co.uk for up to date on all sorts of sports news and for more mixed martial arts news check them out and check out nux.com cage minds micah frankel subscribe to the channel like the videos leave us a comment twitter facebook and remember the two websites we said thanks for watching everybody have a good one